racing. Friendsified just knuckled a little bit, leaving the gate. No real harm done. She's up there with a share of the lead with Kerry Bell. No speed on. Pretty girl three wide. Goodyear for Roses four wide. With a lap left, it's Friendsified and Pretty Girl and Goodyear for Roses disputing the lead with Kerry Bell just easing back to fourth and last. On the swing out of the stretch, it's now three abreast. At the seven eighths pole, Friendsified, Pretty Girl and Goodyear for Roses. And Kerry Bell's going to operate from fourth and last. Half a length separating the top trio. Less than that now as Goodyear for Roses moving up out widest of all puts her red shadow roll in front. She's gone from third to first, taking up the running into the back stretch by almost a length from Pretty Girl and Frenzified. And Arroyo pops Kerry Bell off the rail and she travels up three wide to a level second. So they've chopped and changed somewhat. Goodyear for Roses leads the way along the back stretch by a length and a quarter. Kerry Bell now running second on the outside of Pretty Girl, who's racing on her third continent in a career of only eight starts. And at the tail, Frenzified, who's beginning to struggle. She's really losing touch with the other runners going into the far turn. Goodyear for Roses, widely travelled herself. Leads from Pretty Girl around past the 3 eighths pole with Kerry Bell ahead back on the outside third. Niggled along now. Pretty Girl's moving away again from Kerry Bell at this juncture. At the quarter pole, Goodyear for Roses travelling very nicely by two and a half lengths. She's the one to beat for Nakatani, turning for home. Pretty Girl's the only threat. Kerry Bell has folded her tent and Frenzified's about to join her, but it's ten from the front past the eighth pole, and Goodyear for Roses has travelled very sweetly. Now shaken up with the whip leads, Pretty Girl by almost three lengths, and it's Goodyear for Roses set to score in the Frankel for new trainer Richard Baltus and Cory Nakatani stamping his return to the saddle with a graded stakes victory. Good year for Roses, beat Pretty Girl, five lengths, six clear of Frenzified, and Kerry Bell, the favourite, has come in last of the four runners. Good year for Roses, a four-year-old bay daughter of Azamor and the Galileo mare Julia. Bred in Ireland by the Hornets, owned by Abandanza Racing. Trained now by Richard Baltus and ridden by Cory Nakatani, who has a double on the afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, the trophy presentation is made by longtime assistant to the legendary trainer Bobby Frankel, Umberto Ascanio. down here in the winner's circle with the connections of the Robert J. Frankel Stakes. Congratulations, that was quite the celebration as your horse uh, crossed the wire. Take me through your thoughts. Oh, yes, you know, those guys always are very uh, happy. <laughs> yeah, they get excited. They love to watch their horses run and they enjoy the game. And Corey, you're back at the races here. You've already won two races today. Your son is your agent. How does it feel to be back here at Santa Anita Park? Well, it's always home, you know, I love it. And, uh, you know, I got to thank the owners, obviously being in and the owners, the connections, obviously Richard for having faith in me. And uh, like I said, prior to the race, he's got, he's got a lot of faith in me and, and I got a lot of faith in him. And he's definitely uh, a, a hell of a horseman. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be part of his team and, and uh, with the owners and, and giving us opportunities with the horses, you know, sky's the limit. A very easy win, very comfortable horse coming down the stretch. Congratulations to trainer Richard Baltus, Jackie Corey Nakatani, winners of the Robert J. Frankel Stakes here at Santa Anita Park. Thank you, Megan.